Whoa, now my fish! You ass! You're the worst at this! <laughs>Welcome back to another beautiful day on the North Atlantic, everybody. Today is going to be a fun one because we're most likely going to be buying our first boat. Now, before we spend some money on the boats that we currently have, I wanted to actually find a few more possibly because I noticed when I was looking in here. If we go to statistics here, I've only found 7 out of the 39 boats and locations discovered. And if you remember in the last episode, I upgraded the radar on this thing. So I don't really want to get rid of this until we actually find some more of these points of interest because it might be a boat that we actually want. So I'm going to go out for one more soak of the deep lines here and uh, we should probably earn you know another two 400k that should definitely help us out because I don't know how many employees I'm gonna need um, I have no idea what kind of boat we're gonna buy today so I want to make sure we have at least a little bit of money in the bank just in case we need it for upgrades on the next boat that we buy now we already found one right now good thing we found a lighthouse this time well not that exciting but I guess it's better than nothing so yeah I'm gonna kind of follow the coastline here and then go out to where we found the swordfish um, which was this one a day ago and maybe we can find some more points of interest as we explore over there. Oh, there's one. Okay, so my radar is clearly really good. What was that? I found the Moby D. All right, Graham, and start throwing them out. Hopefully it's as lucrative as last time because yeah, we earned what? 300K with one haul, uh, which isn't too bad at all. All right, now that those are out, give them a few hours to soak, and let's head back in, and I'm going to go down to Lockport here and refuel, and then we'll come back out and get the pots. Oh, and it's a good thing I came back. We actually did get a boat. It was over on the other side. I saw it just as I was leaving. Okay. <laughs> These things are great. I love that you got to find the boats. And there's another one. I found the Snar set. I think I saw it for a second. I actually like the name of that one. Can I see it from here? I think it's over on the other side of this, actually. Okay, and after a 17-hour soak, it actually took a lot longer than last time. We got some loaded lines here, so let's get out and get those things and get paid. All right, and there we go. Our first deep line coming up, actually in daytime this time. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got a mixture of fish and... or tuna and swordfish, as per usual. There we go. We got a perfect that time. It's nice to actually see this time being that it's daytime. So I'm thinking I might be doing these a little early because I remember in Barent C, if I hit M here, I guess I can while do doing this, that bar I think basically means how much the line is full. Uh, I thought maybe these lines only have three slots, but it might just be because I'm doing these a little too early. So I might leave the other ones actually as we go explore a little bit more and let them soak for like days. Because, yeah, that was three. So let's just take a chance. I'm going to let this guy rest. We'll sell this stuff at one of the ports we go to. But I want to actually explore anyways and hopefully find some more boats. So I think we'll head up this way. I remember um, it's this port, right? Yeah, that one had the really good tuna prices. So we'll head back there at least and then maybe explore north a little bit as we wait for these to soak a little bit more. All right. Yeah, actually, wow. They're, they want swordfish now, too. This is a great place to sell. There's an 80 there's 87k right there. Yeah, we're doing totally fine for money guys This is this is fantastic. You found fix Okay, Ingles head now has a boat. I should probably check all these new boats whenever I go to the ports Because um, yeah, each port has its own unique set of boats. All right, and let's get back out now I don't think this was correct. I think this is basically until the fish die and are spoiled um, I think once you get three, that's max because I remember I know for sure when the things are blue That means you're you're getting them at optimal time. So yeah, let's not wait any longer Let's get these poor fish off these lines and uh, Hopefully they're not dead. All right haul deep line. No fish were caught. Oh Yeah, okay, so we waited way too long. I thought I'd just test it and uh, My assumption was wrong. So yeah, just get them when they're blue basically. I found another one Lunenburg um, Where is Lunenburg? Oh, it's right here. Sweet. Okay. I didn't realize there was one this high up I clearly don't go north too much. All right, so I found a lot of the boats now. I think it's time to um, Buy boats. Let's just check this final little bit of distance and yeah, we're gonna go uh, check out this new boat that we got, but from what, what I've seen with these boats that I'm finding is they're not really great boats. They're usually old and pieces of junk, so it might make sense to buy the one that we saw earlier. Um, so yeah, let's check available. 
Um, what was that? actually the lunar bow? Holy crap, 20 million. Okay, well, clearly not all of them are bad. I'm glad I found that one. Obviously, we have a lot of really cool boats in this game. Oh my god, one day, guys. One day we'll get there, but not today. That's for damn sure. 30 million's a bit much. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna head back and, uh, I think buy that one boat. Okay, and here we are. We have the Lenore available, and then the Moby D's in here as well. Actually, that's another good one that we found. So, definitely there's some good boats out there to find, which is great to see. Now, I'm gonna buy the Lenore. It's a jack of all trades, really, actually. It can be rigged for line, net, deep line, and lobster fishing. So, it really is perfect. Now, a lot of you guys asked me to do lobster. We're actually out of season right now. Uh, we're just out of season by a month. It goes all the way to July, and we're currently in August. So, I think what I want to do is maybe long line fishing for the time being. Regardless, we'll buy it and figure it out from there. Um, because that's the way I like to do things. Line mechanic. Would you like to play the tutorial? Yes, actually. All right, so this is just gonna teach me how to buy the long lines and everything. We kind of know how to do this because we did the deep lines, but, um, yeah, this is kind of where we can get into getting lots of fish. Do I get the 2,000 hook right away? That's actually asking me to do a 250 hook. You know what? Let's start off with that. We don't really know where the fish are anyways. I don't know how much this boat can hold. While we're here, let's upgrade this thing a bit. I think we'll have this boat for a while because it's a good boat for pretty much everything. Um, we don't need decent radar anymore because I found the majority of the stuff I at least wanted along the coastline. We'll buy autopilot though. 23 grand. We still got lots of money. Fishing quota. We don't have to worry about that yet. Sonar. Definitely want to spend a good money on that. I guess we can upgrade the buoys. Um, to see them easier. Yeah, whatever. It's four grand. I mean, that's like one second of work. Let's be honest here. And we'll buy the good searchlight as well. Let, let's let's kit this thing out. And I think also, let's get one more worker just because I like to live large. Michael and Isaac are the best, but is a rate of 2.7 and 2.2% worth it? Or should we go for someone low who's not that good? This guy's not awful. I mean, he's a good... He's a good mid-range, and he's really, really cheap. So, yeah, you know what? Let's let's get some mid-range crew right now. I mean, we can always fire them if we need to. All right, I got to assume that that's enough crew for this little boat. But, yes, we got our first upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. And now I feel like we're an actual fisherman. All right, but before we start fishing, let's appreciate the boat here. Now, it's not a crazy upgrade. It's still, obviously, a very basic boat. Um, we have a cabin. Not much controls, actually. We got our logbook there, which we had before. Looks like we have a radio that we can use for a rescue if we do need to. And aside from that, I mean, we have a TV in here if we ever want to watch TV out here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously, we the big thing is we probably have a lot more storage space for fish, which is obviously the big part of getting a bigger boat. Okay, so as I like to do for the first one, I like to do it manually. We might have workers, but I may as well do it. So move to the work deck and pick up the line bucket. Um, obviously this is it. Place line bucket in line setter. We've done this before. Okay, so this is very much like that. Wait for line to finish. Okay, so it, I obviously, oh, the boat just turned on on its own, sweet. So yeah, just like deep line with a long line. There we go. So 250 hooks right there. All right, and there we go. Haul the long line. When hauling the long line, you have to time your mouse click. All right, so just like the other one. I guess I really didn't need to do this tutorial. Um, red mist, okay, yellow, low result, medium result, best result. So I guess the size of the fish does interact with how well you are at hitting these. Oh, okay, so it is a little bit different. Okay, so I have to hold it, I think. All right, so let's try this again. Wait, what? Oh, I have to wait a little longer. Okay, I got it now. That's actually kind of cool. There is a little bit of skill when it comes to this. Perfect. There we go. Very similar to deep line. I'm not surprised by that. Except we're probably going to be able to earn a hell of a lot more with this because we're picking out so many smaller fish. And to end off with a perfect, that feels pretty good. Okay. Oh, we actually have to gut the fish now, too. It makes sense. They're smaller fish. Um, gutting table. Where the hell is that? Ah, uh, that's a gutting table if I've ever seen one before. Okay, gut fish. Okay, so I have to move with the left mouse button in a continuous motion. Um, try and keep the knife over the mark path to maximize gutting quality. I think it was kind of similar in Fishing Baron C. Okay, oh wow, this is- oh, whoa, god, I am in full control. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, I have gut fish before, and this is kind of accurate, which is cool. That was a... <laughs> that deserved a two-star. 
I like this though. This is damn cool. Okay, I really wish it was right on top of my mouse. Oh God, like I'm missing the whole fish. Please be at least a three star. Come on, that's a little better, right? Okay, so I think it is on top of my mouse. It's just kind of confusing. This is really cool though. There we go, four star. Now obviously I can get my employees to do this and I probably will because I'm not very good, but I'm getting better slightly. Where do I start? Where's the X? All right, somewhere on this fin. There, that's good enough. Okay, there we go. I did 600 kgs of fish. Um, a mission waypoint has been set on your map to another long line that has been out for a number of hours already. Oh, you gave me a free long line? Okay. All right, and we do that all over again, hopefully doing a bit better this time so we don't waste fish. Well, did a hell of a lot better that time. I pulled in 1,150 compared to the 647 kgs before. Okay, and let's sell this fish real quick. So yeah, definitely not as much as the swordfish and tuna. That's for damn sure. Um, but with just two lines, that's not too bad at all. So I'm gonna sell those catches. And what I'm actually gonna do is sell these lines just because 250 hook lines are not big enough. I wanna get a full boat, damn it. So let's get some bigger lines in here and go out with my actual crew this time. All right, now for the fun part. I get to make these guys do everything. So set that long line and we're doing 2,000 strong. So these are gonna be some really long lines here. Jeez, I underestimated the sheer distance of 200 meters. I mean, I have been driving for a while. I mean, I guess it does take a while to put out 200 hooks, or 2,000 rather. Okay, they just turned blue, so it's time to haul. Long line hauling, who's better at it? Uh, definitely good old Graham here. So we're gonna put him, oh Jesus, try to drag him. I guess I can only drag him from here. We're gonna put him on hauling and put this guy on hand gutting so we can do both at the same time. But haul that long line in. It looks like I still have to do this job. I'm totally fine with that though. Am I supposed to do this? He's he's on top of me. <laughs> maybe maybe he is supposed to do this. Oh man, I'm getting so much fish, it's starting to break the, my, my box. I like that the fish are physics based though. <laughs> they kind of just flop around in the box. <laughs> All right, and there's 8,000 kgs of fish right there. Ah, uh, I, I gotta figure out why he wasn't hauling though. I'm so confused. Oh wait, I only have, I only have space for 10,000 kgs. Oh God, that's not good. I'm not, I was, I was, I was about to haul an extra line. Oh damn it, this is bad though. I have to fast travel back here and get back there. My lines are gonna be soaked for too long. All right, you know what? I have to gut my fish too. The guy's just taking too long to do it. So he did 154 kgs. Yeah, I guess I have to do the majority of the work right now. Usually you do this as you wait for lines to soak. Okay, and it's nothing like the swordfish or tuna, but obviously once we upgrade our storage space It's gonna be very easy to earn a lot of money here. Um, I honestly don't know don't know though It might be smarter to go for the big fish. All right, so let's upgrade that um, Storage to max we can so we can hold 20,000 kg now We should be able to get both the lines at least and uh, let's get back out there again. Is he actually doing it? Okay, he is doing it. Yes, you get it just an okay, I, I hate that I can see how he's doing because he's not gonna be as good as me. I mean, I didn't hire the best of individuals. It's looking like he's gonna get okay throughout this whole thing. God damn it. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to do it and I can focus on getting to the next area. All right, let's see how you did, Greenhorn, your final one. We got not actually better than me in terms of uh, amount of fish. Might be because we're on the fish right now though. I honestly have no idea. Whoa, no, my fish! You ass, you're the worst at this. Ah, <laughs> uh, that fish just went to the pits of hell. What the hell was that noise? Whoa, we just, okay, we just skipped the final fish? That was not as good. Mind you, the, um, the net did turn green. Also, my hand gutter has not even dented the pile. This green bar is when it's all done. All right, so yeah, having a crew is not much help right now, honestly, but it will be later on, I promise you that, so. <laughs> she got it 319 kgs. Don't get me wrong. That's a lot of fish if you think about it But I do like 300 kgs every time I do one of these Okay, just call me the gut master ladies and gentlemen after doing this a few times you get pretty good at it I'm kind of just rushing it at this point though, but there we go. We're pretty much done 
Ah, uh, okay, let's see how much we did today. Oh, wow, okay, so I actually got some stacks this time. All right, and let's see the damage this time. So yeah, another 56K, and that's actually not awful prices. So you're definitely going for quantity when you're doing this type of fishing, and obviously if I set this up right and had net soaking as I was gutting and had a real rhythm going, it might be more lucrative than tuna and swordfish. But I don't know, maybe we'll equip this boat to go back to tuna and swordfish just because it's fun to get the big guys as well. Definitely want to get into some lobster fishing sooner or later, but uh, le as we are out of season, it doesn't really make sense to do it right now. So we'll do be doing that soon. But yeah, I think in the next episode, we'll maybe try some net fishing as well, see if that's any better. Regardless, there's a lot of options we can do, and that's why I bought this uh, boat, just because we can do pretty much everything in the game and do very basic versions of it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode episode of Fishing North Atlantic, getting our first new vessel, the Lenore. And yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking about this game. What do you guys want to see in it? Should I focus on getting as much money as possible, getting to those big ships, or have some simple fun on the Lenore for a little bit? As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.